video provided by Paper Industry International Hall of Fame, www.paperhall.org, which supports educational programs at the Paper Discovery Center, Appleton, Wisconsin, www.paperdiscoverycenter.org. While the continuous web paper machine was developed in the early 1800s, it was the efforts of Frederick Gottlob Keller in the 1840s who helped papermaking meet society's rapidly expanding demand. Keller found a way to use wood fibers for making paper. Wood was inexpensive and plentiful when compared to the rags and plant fibers that had been used for making paper up to that time. Keller was born in Hainischen, Saxony in 1816. With no funds for a formal education, Keller spent his childhood and youth working for his father as a weaver and leaf binder. But Keller was unhappy. He was interested in machines and kept an idea book with him where he noted different types of machines. He had subscriptions to the leading publications on machines and was well read in the science of mechanics. For background, the Chinese had invented the foundation for papermaking using rags and plant fibers. 1600 years later, the French scientist René Romier suggested that paper could be made from trees. He had observed wasps feeding upon wood to make their paper nests. Keller drew upon the writings of Romier, and in 1841, the 25-year-old Keller noted in his idea book a wood grinding machine that could extract fibers from the wood in trees for making paper. There was a tremendous need for paper making fibers in Europe. Paper production was being curtailed because of a shortage of rags obtained from used clothing. In the early 1840s, Keller worked eagerly on a wood grinding device. He completed his work in 1844 and produced a sheet of paper containing wood. Keller's device defibered blocks of wood by pressing them against a revolving wet grindstone. Keller sold his invention to a papermaker, Heinrich Volter, for 300 US dollars. A patent was granted to Keller in 1845 in both Keller's and Volter's names, but it was Volter who took Keller's concept into commercial production. Volter's company produced wood containing fibers for newspapers. In 1867, the first ground wood pulp was produced commercially in the United States. The New York Times was the seventh U.S. newspaper to switch to mechanical groundwood pulp in 1873. By the end of the 1800s, only a few newspapers were still being made from rags. Frederick Keller received a small sum of money from a number of German paper makers and associations in his later years. Keller purchased a house with these funds. Keller received several awards late in his life including the merit of invention from the German government. Mr. Keller died in Krippen, Germany on November 8, 1895.